There are five types of tables in Revman. Tables in mean texts. These are optional and used for presenting limited amount of information in tabular format within the mean text. Characteristics of studies table. These are mandatory tables used for recording the characteristics of studies that are included, excluded, awaiting classification, or ongoing. Each type of study has a number of predefined attributes, and you can include additional attributes. Risk of bias tables are used for additional characteristics of included studies. Summary of finding tables are optional, can be generated with grade profiler software and imported as tables or created within RevMan. Additional tables are optional, used for tables that are too large or not sufficiently important to be in the main body of text. We are going to look at ways of constructing these tables in this tutorial. Starting with tables in mean text. To insert a table in the mean text, position a cursor where you wish the table to appear. Click the Table button on the toolbar. A table containing three rows and three columns will be inserted. Cells in the table can be freely edited. Highlight the sample headings to replace it with your desired headings. If you wish to add rows or columns, right-click a table cell where you wish the new row or column to appear. From the options given, choose to either insert a row above or below, or insert a column to the left or right. To remove multiple rows or columns, select a series of cells that span the rows or columns. Right-click a cell in the row. Choose Delete Rows or Columns. To merge cells, select the cells that you wish to merge. Right-click within the table and choose Merge Cells. To split a merge cell, right-click a merge cell and choose Split Cells. It is possible to format the table. If you wish to make a cell a heading, Simply right-click on the cell and choose Toggle Heading or Cell. Heading format is applied to the cell. You can also specify the vertical and horizontal text alignment for each cell. To achieve that, right-click on the cell and choose Alignment. You can then choose for the cell to align left, center or right, or set a row to be aligned top, middle or bottom. You do not have to specify the width and height of tables or individual cells. Instead, cells will expand automatically to fit the content. If a column is too wide, it is probably because one of its cells containing a long word. Revman can only wrap the text in a cell when it contains a space. Please be aware, do not hyphenate words to adjust the column width in Revman.